Okay, so recently I had a commission, well, have a commission, to do a corkscrew, and so I'm gonna just film it, see how it goes. I'm gonna do sort of like a knot, and then try and weave the corkscrew into it, and try and get it so there's no welds, uh, and just sort of tie them together, effectively. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be using. It's, sort, it's a rake tie off an old agricultural machine. There's like a, on a farm here, so uh, there's plenty of them around, but it's quite decent steel because they're a bit springy. So I'm going to cut this up, put that on the forge, and use this to actually forge, you know, the screw out, and then the body of it we can forge our mild, mild steel, as that doesn't really matter. But the screw sort of needs to be a bit harder so it can not bend as you're trying to pull the cork out itself. I also have a cork as well, just so I can get the size and the diameter of the screw right.
that's it. This is quite tricky to do. That corkscrew piece is quite long and so you have to get it through, wrap it up, get it all nice and tight so it doesn't move around, which is quite hard. You know, there's a lot of processes in it which I didn't show you them all because it would have made a really long, boring video, so I didn't do that. Also, you know, drawing it out in the first place into that small diameter bar from like 10 mil that took quite a while and I didn't show all that, but you know, I was just trying to make the video short and get it nice so it wasn't boring. And so what I've done is I've just cut it off the bar, polished the ends up a little bit and then finished it with some linseed oil just to seal it, darken it a bit. But yeah, so this is quite hard to do, but I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, thank you for watching the video. I, hope, I do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. After finishing the corkscrew, I realised that I had made, accidentally made, a left-handed one. So this was, as you twisted it anti-clockwise, the screw went into the cork, whereas you should twist it clockwise and the screw goes into the cork. This is because I did a clockwise twist when making the screw, the, the worm of the screw, rather than an anti-clockwise twist. So I straightened it out and did an anti-clockwise twist on it. Uh, and so yeah, that's it now. It's off with the client. Everything's good. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you soon.